So you may have seen earlier in the week, I've been experimenting with some kind of blues tones. So I decided, actually, I've created or discovered or rediscovered my own two cool blues tones that I dug this week. So I wanted to try and combine them. That's something you can do on the Helix floor. That's what you heard me playing in the intro. So first of all, we'll cover this little bottom bit here. So 
what you'll need to do here is change the input to guitar. Then I've got a tube screamer here, which turns on with the Spice screenshot. Uh, you'll see. And I'm using the US double norm, so this is the Fender Twin. The drive is at 10, bass at 4, mids at 0.2, treble at 8.3, presence at 4.8, channel volume at 8.5, and bias at 9.1. Uh, I think that's we need to know for that. Then I've got the hot springs in mono here. You don't need to use stereo if you're going before a cab. Um, what I'm doing here, the dwell is at 10, spring count 2. This is all kind of just um, stock settings. The mix I've taken down to 23%. Then the important part of this part here is the Ampeg B15 um, with the 57 dynamic. Loads of reflections. Um, this was doing the kind of Stevie Ray Vaughan big speaker thing. Um, 121 ribbon on the second Ampeg B15 56 reflections. So this is the kind of big Fender tone at the bottom here. And then up at the top, what we've got is a top secret OD. That won't be, you won't have heard that in the video though. That will only be on the more. Um, and what we're doing is, basically there's the video where I talked about the uh, Dumble and Deluxe tone, the dual tone, so this is now a triple amp tone. But yeah, the clean settings for the litigator are 3.5, bass 6, mid 7, treble at 2.9, presence off, channel volume at 9.4, master at 6.2, sag at 6.7, and then stock settings. And if we go across, we get the low high shelf, kicking things in the low end at 150 by plus 6.7, using a Fullerton cap here, high cut at 7.8, 47 condenser, early reflections at 30%, and then on this other block here, so on this other channel, we got a Y split before these amps, and we pan them left and right, and boost by three, yeah, so then on this, we've got a US Deluxe Norm, drive at 5.2, bass at 5.1, mids at 5, treble at 4.4, Presence at 1.9, channel volume at 8, master at 10, bias 6.5, then the same low high shelf and a bluebell, you know, a Vox type speaker, like a lazy J kind of situation. 57 dynamic, early reflections at 17%, and then at the very end, we get a glitz reverb with a mix at 18. For the spice part, I think what I'm doing is just Turning up the drive on the litigator, taking down the treble, so drive goes up to 10, treble comes down to 0.5, master comes down to 6, and on the deluxe norm we go all the way up to 10 on the drive as well, take the presence down to 0 and channel volume down to 7. So those were the tones you heard, so the clean tone was clean, press and spice for the, the solo tone. Hopefully that's enjoyable for you, I think that was an improvement on both tones, it kind of brought together this whole sound where you've got the the big kind of fender sound as well as one of my favorite blues tones that i've heard out of the helix probably my favorite that i've, I've played um that was with the telecaster i haven't tried it with the strat yet i had a couple of people mention that there's not a dumble in the helix there is certainly a dumble-esque amp the litigator the inspiration for it was a dumble it's a fender modded with the typical kind of mods that mr dumble did and then people then jumped on board you know like the Fuchs guys the red plate guys the two rock guys and uh, you know all of those the comments about blues lawyers and comments about yacht rock is definitely hinting at the dumble so that's what the litigator is though it's not based on any specific amp or anything like that because they didn't have a dumble in hand to actually to model this is like a, a theoretical model of a dumble in some ways. So yes, there's not a literal dumble in the, the Helix, but there is a dumble-esque model and the litigator is that. I did confirm that with line six as well. But anyway, just sound-wise, we get the clean on the neck humbucker of a telly. And then when we kick on spice, Really, really, I think, inspiring vintage style, big 
fendery, big bluesy uh, drives. I'll catch you in another video soon. Feel free to like and subscribe. Hopefully this was vaguely interesting. Leave a comment if you want me to drop ODS big blues into the folder. It will only work on Helix because we've got too much going on for an HX stomp. Although it will work on native as well, obviously. Catch you soon. Cheers.